Hey folks, Julian here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the NT1 fifth generation in ultra high resolution mode. In addition to its XLR output, the NT1 fifth generation also features a digital USB output. And inside the microphone is a professional grade audio interface that converts the analog signal produced by the mic capsule into a digital signal that can be sent to your computer via USB. This process is simply known as analog to digital conversion, and it's one of the main functions of a standalone audio interface, such as the Rode AI-1, for example. Now, different audio interfaces are capable of capturing and outputting audio at different resolutions, which is measured in a figure that is known as a sample rate. You may have heard this term before. It is essentially how much audio information is captured in the analog to digital conversion process. This is analogous to video frame rate. When recording with a higher frame rate, more visual information will be captured, giving you more flexibility in post, particularly if you need to slow the video down. Now, the same goes for audio. When recording with a higher sample rate, you will be capturing more audio information, which can be useful in some specific scenarios, such as if you need to heavily manipulate the pitch or the speed of the audio. One of the more common audio sample rates is 48 kilohertz, meaning 48,000 snippets of audio are captured every single second. Now the NT1 fifth generation, however, is capable of outputting an incredibly high resolution digital signal, all the way up to 192 kilohertz, meaning 192,000 samples per second. Of course, it can also output audio at lower sample rates, which will still give you very high quality audio. And for most projects, 48 kilohertz is more than enough resolution. But if you have more specialized project requirements, the NT1 fifth generation makes it super easy to record ultra high resolution audio. Before we get started though, it is important to note that recording 192 kilohertz audio will create much larger files than 48 kilohertz or even 96 kilohertz and it will also create a much bigger load on your computer's CPU. So it is worth considering whether your project actually requires it. To record in ultra high resolution mode, simply connect your mic to your computer via USB. If you're on a Mac, go to your audio MIDI setup, select the NT1 fifth generation from the list on the left, then click the format dropdown and select either option from the 192 kilohertz section of the menu. If you're using a Windows computer, open the control panel and go to the recording tab in the sound menu. Double click the NT1 fifth gen and go to the advanced tab. Here you can select 192 kilohertz as an option from the default format dropdown menu. If you wanna record on a Windows PC at 192 kilohertz in 32-bit float, you will need to use our custom ASIO driver. So be sure to check out our other video on 32-bit float recording via the link in the description for the full process. So now that we've set the sample rate of our microphone to 192 kilohertz, we'll need to do the same in our DAW. Using a different sample rate can cause issues when you're trying to record. Similarly, you'll need to ensure that the sample rate of your output device is set to 192 kilohertz as well. Now, your computer or audio interface may not actually support 192 kilohertz audio output, so it is worth checking this before you start recording. However, if this is the case, you could simply record at 192 kilohertz and then lower the sample rate when you're mixing. And that is how you record in ultra high resolution mode with the NT1 fifth generation. To find out more about its different features, check out the links in the description below. Happy recording, everyone.